What does the Raspberry Pi 5, an advanced 3D arcade emulation, give? Elements of response in this video, as our main focus today, will be on the Naomi and the Naomi GD models, highlighting their key features. So what is it? These were arcade systems that were nothing more than different versions of the Dreamcast with extremely cool games inside, many of which you most likely are not familiar with. And you will most likely derive enjoyment from uncovering the surprising conclusion of this video. In the program, we will test the Raspberry Pi 5 extensively to uncover its full capabilities and specifically address the pressing question. Can you achieve 60 frames per second when playing Naomi using this new Raspberry card? We'll provide a video response to reveal the findings. Let's get started. You're starting to get used to it now. This isn't the first video we've done testing this Raspberry Pi 5. We've already done the Saturn, the Dreamcast, the Atomist Wave, and we'll continue with other arcade systems and other particularly demanding 3D consoles. But for now, we're going to focus on the Naomi. In the program, we will first test this system on the Pi 4 without any changes, with a basic installation of Recalbox. Same thing with the Pi 5. The test on Pi 5, but with still some small improvements to show you what this card is capable of doing. I draw your attention to focusing your gaze on the FPS counter located in the top right of your screen to know if the game is running at full speed or not on the system in question. Here are the small ones just after this video test barrage for the conclusion of the Naomi and the Naomi GD on Raspberry Pi 5. Let's go and see what they have to offer in terms of performance and gameplay.
The event has finished. The event has finished. The event has finished. Throw in. Fifteen all. Thirty love. Forty love. Thirty love. Forty love. So what can we take away from this barrage of tests? Already a little bit like the Atomis wave, I find that the Raspberry Pi 4 didn't do so bad after all in terms of Naomi emulation. Not everything was running at full speed, I admit, but for the average person, it was still relatively playable for most games. Now, it is still a statement that must be acknowledged. From the moment you have experienced the 60 frames per second, it is completely and utterly impossible to go back to how it was before. 
it brings such fluidity it brings such speed in the game that frankly going back to 40 or 50 fps becomes very very complicated so yes for us necessarily the raspberry pi 5 will bring a huge gain at this level especially since the advantage of 3d systems is that the raspberry pi 5 will be able to upscale with resolutions that can go up to 1080 lines which is still very impressive especially since many games are also compatible with the 16th hack in order to transform your fourth tier game into a 16th game and thus take full advantage of your HD screens. So that was for HDMI televisions, but if you play on a CRT arcade cabinet with RGB dual or RGB JAMA adapters, for you it will be a source of 100% happiness since with your only 240 lines that you will output on your machines most of the time, you will enjoy even more power since it is fewer calculations to do since you will be working in low resolution so for you it will be almost guaranteed 60 frames per second and honestly you will simply love the raspberry pi 5 so once again it is highly recommended for your small configurations so do not hesitate to take a look at qb.fr to check the stock status and why not go for a raspberry pi 4 kit i remind you it has everything you need inside especially the power supply which i remind you is more powerful than the one for the raspberry pi 4 so make sure to grab one now another aspect to remember is that we carried out all these tests using a raspberry pi 5 with 4 gb of ram which is the standard model and currently the most economical option Hopefully you have enjoyed these little tests and they are starting to spark your curiosity about Recallbox for Raspberry Pi 5. We wish you plenty of fun games and we will be seeing you soon for new videos. Goodbye for now and take care.